Welcome to Chrissy Love. I'm Chrissy and this is my perfume review channel where I talk about all things perfume. Love, hate, like, need, it's all right here. Today, of course, because it is freezing cold outside and I am wearing my cozy turtleneck, I am thinking about the freshies. <laughs> I am seriously craving some citrus and some lightness and some hint of spring, even if it's completely manufactured. So today I'm reviewing four of my favorite freshies in my collection. My first today is Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue Escape to Panaria the Eau de Toilette. So this is a flanker of the original Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue. There are quite a few of them. And this was actually made in 2014. So it's been around for a while. Now I personally don't like light blue. It's fresh, it's enjoyable for people near you. I have no issue smelling light blue. Just for me, the scent doesn't quite trigger a memory or a feeling or it just doesn't click for me. I really like something a tad sweeter. I need some sweetness. So I was excited when I saw this because I thought it would give me that extra sweetness I was looking for while keeping that freshness of the original light blue. And I'm here to say it does. Absolutely. So the top notes are pear and bergamot. Middle notes are orange blossom and jasmine. And base notes are tonka bean, white musk, and ambergris. And I love tonka bean in anything. Now my one qualm with this is this bottle is so hard to get the cap off of. It like hurts my hands. Like the edge is like really sharp and it hurts your hands when you're trying to get it off. I mean, could I do a little bit better than that? That's okay. Anyway, so when I first spray this, I can tell immediately it is a sweet take on the original light blue DNA. The DNA is absolutely in there, which is great, but it is sweet and it's lemony. It almost has a tropical fruit smell, which I think is that bergamot coming in. It really feels like a ray of sunshine, like a warming, beautiful, fresh, ray of sunshine. It has a slight kitchen cleaner smell from that bergamot, but I'm okay with that. I can live with that. But the DNA in here is definitely strong. It smells a lot like the original light blue, just sweetened up. And then after half an hour of wear, it turns into a lemon bubble gum. I love it so much. A pink bubble gum with some lemon in it, slightly floral, is so much sweeter than the original light blue and it just keeps developing in that direction and I love that. And then in the dry down, it's like a sweet fruity breeze. Like you're on the beach and there's like this coconut tree and this fruity drink next to you and the breeze blows just right and it all just blends and like hits your nose. That's exactly what it smells like, which is absolutely as delicious as it sounds. I actually get hints of like coconut flesh which is not in the notes, and maybe it's just my mind playing tricks on me, but that's what I get. It's super citrusy and zesty and sweet and bright. Now, in terms of performance, it stays on my skin all day. Really good performance. Now, I'm an oversprayer at heart, so in order to get that extra projection, I do overspray and would probably bring this bottle with me to spray throughout the day, my, you know, oasis beach day that I'm imagining in my brain. Um, but yeah, it actually performs really well. No issues with performance at all. Um, so yeah, this is definitely a winner for me. I'm so glad I have it. It is Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue Escape to Panaria, the Eau de Toilette. The next one I have here is from the famed Aqua Allegoria line from Guerlain. And they're all just so gorgeous. This is the Mandarin Basilique. And it's a mini size version I have, but the full bottle looks a lot like this with that honeycomb structure on top and the minis are just so cute. I can honestly collect them all. They are adorable. And for this, the top notes are clementine, bitter orange, orange blossom, green tea, and ivy. Middle notes are mandarin orange, basil, chamomile, peony, and then the base notes are sandalwood and amber. And they're all real freshies, except for Tizora, which I guess is fresh, but it's definitely more tea-like. This one is just heartwarming. It is herbal and green with that basil. It has this very realistic, what I interpret as like a blood orange. So slightly sweeter than a normal orange, which is maybe the clementine 
um, and the bitter orange combined give me that blood orange feeling. It's tart, but you're really smelling the fruit fiber. Like you're like you peeled a blood orange and you're just like stuck your nose into the peel. That's what it smells like. It's a little bit bitter, which that bitterness makes it smell even more realistic to me. And then after a half hour of wearing this, it's still really bright and zesty. It still has that herbal undertone. Thank goodness it doesn't lose that. I'm just loving scents these days that have like a slightly herbal tinge, like not like essential oils, though those are great in their own way, but like a, a bright zesty perfume that has that herbal underpinning is just gorgeous and so satisfying. And then the dry down on my skin, it's really a sharp orange. So it's not really a blood orange anymore. It's like that bitter orange really develops, but it still maintains that herbal freshness. So it kind of smells like you're sitting next to an orange tree and you're getting the orange scent from the actual orange fruit, but you're also getting the tree, you're getting the leaves, you're getting the greenness, you're getting a really natural experience of the entire plant. Mm, it is just a joy. It's just like pure happiness. I love this so much. Performance-wise, it's fantastic. It has really excellent projection. It just leaps right off your skin. It lasts all day on my skin. It is just divine. I love this one. So again, this is Guerlain's Aqua Allegoria line, and that is Mandarin Basilique. Gorgeous. This next one leans more masculine slash unisex, but I actually really love it. It's by L'Occitane, and it's the Vervine range, and it is Verbena. It's an eau de toilette, and I have a little mini bottle of it here which is actually a better design, I think, than the original bottle, like the full size one. And I got this one because it reminded me of my dad's cologne. He wears lime a lot. And so I just wanted to have that scent memory because we live in different states. And so that's why I bought it in the first place, but now I'm kind of loving it for my own reasons. Um, so the scent notes in this one, we I'm just gonna read their description on the website because it's not actually on Fragrantica. I think it's not a very popular perfume. Um, Extroverted notes of Mediterranean verbena mingle with geranium and lemon tree. Elegantly presented in a glass spray bottle engraved with a verbena leaf. And it is so gorgeous. So when I first spray this or dab it as a, as a, a dabber, I get this lime aftershave. And lime is not a note in this, but it just reads to me as lime. Very masculine. I actually get a little bit of depth of musk, which again is not in the notes, but it's a lot more um, developing and unique and complex than even the website gives it credit for. Then after a half hour, I'm really getting that still fresh citrus limey, which is like more bitter, you know, than other citruses with a slight hint of musk. It's pretty linear, it's very fresh, very zesty. Maybe the smallest hint of like a natural citrus sweetness, but definitely no sugar added. Then in the dry down, I get slightly sweet lime, like, like, like a limeade drink. Like a little bit of sugar, but mostly just natural lime and water and ice shaken up, like a fresh drink. But the aftershave feeling goes away. So that's why I think I could still wear this myself because it doesn't really smell outwardly like a men's aftershave. You won't walk around smelling like that after it really dries down. And it has really great performance. This is, even though it's an eau de toilette, it really stays on my skin most of the day. It just clings to me and the projection just keeps bouncing off. It's delicious. I keep smelling it hour to hour. Um, I think that I'm gonna decant this into a spray bottle so I can like really get it around. You know, the dabbers don't really do that for me. But this is really an unsung hero. I've never heard anyone talk about it. I think Locatane, I've never, like brand, I've never heard anyone talk about it at all. And now I'm really excited to get more into it. I remember, I think they sold it um, at some like gift shops back when I was a kid. So I had some kind of like a memory of the brand, which is why I gave it a chance. But now I'm definitely gonna dive deeper and see what else they have, because this is an amazing, freshy and just delicious. It would also make a really great gift like a unisex gift for a man or a woman, a really great Father's Day gift. It's just so easy and fresh and zesty. And I think that anyone who puts this on is just gonna feel instantly brightened and lightened. So yeah, this is a really good one. So this is L'Occitane and the full company name is En Provence and it is the Vervine Verbena. The final one I have for you 
is Moschino's Toy 2, which I got in my scent bird a couple of months ago. So I have like the little sample size of it, but the bottle, the full size version of the bottle is really cute. It's like a little toy, like a toy bear that's transparent with this like lemon yellow colored liquid inside. It's really adorable. So for the notes on this one, the top notes are apple, mandarin orange, and magnolia. Middle notes are white currant, peony, and jasmine. And base notes are musk, sandalwood, and amberwood. Mm. And when I first spray this, I really get an ultra sweet orange, like very fruity and playful, very realistic fruit. So no synthetic undertone, but also not too harsh, like a like a, a normal like lime or lemon or anything. Like that orange and that apple together are a really sweet, zesty take on citrus. And then after half an hour, I get various citruses. So it peels away from just the orange. Um, it turns a, a tad bit synthetic just because it doesn't, you can't really put your finger on exactly what the fruit is. So that makes, takes away that realistic feeling. Um, but it's, it actually smells to me like sour candy, like a sour citrus candy that's like coated in that sugar granules. Like that's exactly what it smells like. And kind of like it, that's the taste that I'm getting in this smell. And then in the dry down, it, it sweetens up but it's still very citrusy. It just keeps getting sweeter and developing until I interpret it as like a hard candy. So like take the sourness out of it and it becomes this like nice orange, sweet, hard candy, still zesty, but not real a realistic fruit, more like an interpretation of what you would love every fruit to taste like. Very sweet and delicious and juicy. Uh, it's such an easy reach. It's just gorgeous. You can't really go wrong with this. I mean, I don't get any of the musk or the amber wood. There's nothing too challenging in this. If they are in there, which I'm sure they are, but they don't come out too strong. They're not playing a key role. They're just adding a tad bit of depth. So you're not just pure citrus, which might actually be overwhelming. So I think this is absolutely gorgeous. In terms of performance, it projects really well for the first couple of hours, but it doesn't stay on my skin all day. I definitely had to reapply this one or two times throughout the day. So not too bad, but not really amazing performance either. Still, I think it's really gorgeous. And once I use up the sample size, I'm sure I'm gonna have to buy a full bottle because it's really fun. So thank you for watching. I hope this was fun for you as it was for me because I am just in the spring mode already and perfumes really take me wherever I want to go. And that's just what I love about them. So these are my favorite freshies. A couple of them are probably not very well known. So I hope that this was entertaining and educational. Be sure to like this video if you enjoyed it. And also be sure to subscribe if you have not already and hit the notification bell so you can definitely see when I post more because I am posting two videos a week on exclusively perfume. That's all we do around here. So thank you and I hope you have a very beautiful day.